Hi, this is James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com and today we are going to look at something brand new that's arrived at Mobile Tech Manor and that is of course this little sexy laptop right here which is the Lenovo IdeaPad U110 Notebook. This is the thinnest and lightest full laptop that I have used personally to date. It is smaller than the MacBook Air, almost as thin. It's got an 11.1 .1 inch, very vivid, bright, high resolution screen running at 1366 by 768. This particular unit has 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's got a Core 2 Duo 1.6 gigahertz processor which makes it the fastest sub notebook I have personally used and I'll show you that here in a little bit. This particular unit like I said has got two, gigab two gigabytes of RAM, it's got a 120 gigabyte hard drive spinning at 4200 RPM. It uh, has got this beautiful glossy oh I hit some buttons I'm gonna show, have to show you those here in a minute I've got a Bluetooth mouse hooked up over here. I like mousing. It's a nice trackpad though. I can actually use the trackpad. What I want to do is cut this and I'll show you that. Okay. It's running Vista Home Premium, which means it's also got Windows Media Center. It's got some special Lenovo multimedia software, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. But first thing I want to do is give you just a quick tour around the device. Now let's unplug this baby. And pull this over here where it won't fall down. This is the thinnest and lightest sub notebook I have ever used. What's amazing about this, not just that it's so thin and light, but right now I even have the extended seven cell battery on this baby and it barely adds anything to it. It's just right here. It barely adds any bulk to it and hardly any weight. Just less than half a pound and so far I'm experiencing about four and a half to five hours with power management going running with this battery. Really cool. Now Tell you what, I'm going to close this, but let's show you how fast it goes in the standby. It's going now. It's already in standby. So let's close it. Look how thin this is. Look at this. That screen adds almost nothing when it's closed. It's got the nice everything is sculpted very well designed this is the extended battery the regular battery which is right here for size comparison would fit right here and it actually is totally flush on both the bottom and the back of the unit so it doesn't add anything and I'm getting about three hours with that one uh, but I'm using this because it's so small Anyway, we've got, uh, let's see if I can move up a little bit. I'm so far removed. This is the side. Look how much stuff they've crammed into such a small notebook. It's got a, an express card slot right here, which I've been using my Verizon modem V740 in. Let's see if I can put this back in. This thing is incredibly durable, and we're going to take a look at that. It's got a 5-in-1 card reader. It uses SD... MMC, MS, MS Pro, that's memory stick, SD, SD Pro, and XD. It's got the audio jacks in and out. One cool thing this has right here is a firewire port, a mini firewire port for pen. So you can actually use this with video cameras, which is cool. One USB 2.0 slot over here. Ethernet, Kensington lock. On the front, we just have 
some LED indicators which when it's going this is flashing now that it's blue it shows me it's in standby but it's got some other indicators here for Wi-Fi and stuff then on this side we've got power jack VGA out air vent two more USB 2.0 slots and this is the radio on off for Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth this one's got Wi-Fi ABG I believe Bluetooth 2.0 now I don't know if you can really see this it's hard to see unless you're right there this it looks really good it's got a texture because it's got this really cool artistic impression stamped into it which is really cool and looks really really professional even though it's red it still looks very professional well well designed for the consumer market very very sexy you know no word it keeps coming to my mind now on the bottom here we've got some more little fancy imprints here there you can see it lots of secure rubber footing even on the battery here you got your battery latches, locks, whatever. Actually, that's unlocked. Good thing I looked at that, huh? Lots of air vents, but look how well designed they are. And then access to the memory or hard drive, whatever. And that's pretty much it. But look at this thing. This thing is cool. And Lenovo has shipped this with some really cool stuff that comes in. Now, it's so thin, it has no optical drive, obviously no place to put one so they've shipped it with this really nice small portable USB drive that plugs right in and it will run off of one port which is nice and they gave you the cable for it and it's a uh, DVD RW and I have actually used this to install some software it run, works really really well it's pretty cool and nice that it's included and like I showed you the regular battery which weighs nothing man it's really cool and another cool thing that they they ship with this is this little Lenovo IdeaPad slipcover which fits this device exactly in fact let me show you let's put this baby in here I'll show you how it works I'm working at a, an extreme angle here Hang on. It's hard for me to sit here and do this, but it slips right on like that. With the extended battery on too. And zips right closed. And off you go. With this is actually I find nice. I probably should have put this the other way around. Yeah, with the battery down, it would have worked better. And you could throw this in your briefcase or bag and just gives you a little additional protection which is nice it's a kind of a nylon bag anyway that's pretty much the way she ships but you see how easy this is the thinnest and lightest full laptop that I have used like I said let's fire this puppy up back from look at that how quick it is to resume from standby now, one of the things that you'll notice here real close, it's very glossy, and I've seen a lot of reviews where they don't like it. It's too glossy, they say, around here. The screen is very glossy, although it doesn't bother me at all. But a lot of people don't like it. They say it's a fingerprint magnet. Well, you know what? I, me, personally, I don't care. I just want to use the thing, and it still looks pretty cool, you have to admit. Now, when I first started using it, one thing I was not certain about was, the, was this keyboard because it's glossy and very slick, the top of the keys, and I thought that was going to be a problem. And what I'm finding, though, as soon as I started actually using it, it's a full-size keyboard. I'm really not having any trouble at all. They're slightly... The keys are not flat. They're actually slightly concave. I don't know if I can show you that. It's hard to, hard to show. But I, I find I, I can type on this fine. And 
The trackpad is very responsive. It works very well. Moving the cursor around now. I've got your two mouse buttons. Here's the indicator. Purple means that we have both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled. And then there's another one in here. There's some couple more in here that work, do different things. The speakers, it's hard to show, are actually right here and right here. And this thing's not very loud. It's too small. And I'll show you that here in a minute. But it's all right. It also has Dolby Home Theater technology in the audio, which is, I don't know, it's kind of, kind of cool. Let's see if I can't zoom in just a little bit up close and personal with the IdeaPad U110. Anyway, this is the way it works. I'm off to the side, so it's kind of hard for me to pretend I'm typing here. But you've got some other interesting features for the consumer market here. This is touch screen. It's hard for you to see. I know. It's this faint for me, too. That actually does the volume up and down. Right there. And there's also some other ones here. There's a touch button here. Which enables the Dolby Sound Audio Manager. Realtek High Definition Audio Manager. Which is the, with the Dolby Sound. And let's get out of this. And then there's two other buttons that are user programmable. Let's see if I can find it here. It's hard to see. Where you can define what those two buttons do. Open a program, open a document or music, or open a web, web page. And I don't have those programmed for anything yet, but that's pretty cool that you can do that. And that just sits right up here. And then, of course, you've got, like I said, mute button, as well as volume on and off there we go so we've got the volume on I want to make sure we got the volume on all the way because I'm going to show you stuff here in a little bit there we go okay but you see I can hold this all day it's so light on the corner here and the impressive thing is this thing is incredibly sturdily built I, I, I'm not kidding it really is so before we get too too much further let's uh, a couple things. A lot of people like to know how long things take to run. Let's uh, well, let's go see. This is a Firefox web browser. Whoops, my table's shifted here on me. Let's uh, refresh the page. So I tell you what, let's close it and reopen it so you can see, get a feel for how long things take. We'll open it up. Oh, I should back up, shouldn't I? very snappy the, the device is fast it has the scroll area here like a lot of trackpads do so you can see use it's very usable and a lot of attention has gone into the usability and the comfort factor of using it for long periods of time and I'm really quite enjoying that personally but we can do different stuff let me show you something they put a little software called the Lenovo Shuttle Center and we're going to fire this up and it's going to show you it's a little multimedia player. Plug in AC to enable 3D. Ah, I've got it unplugged so it's turned off the 3D. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Let's see if we can get some music playing through the arrows. Actually, I think it works here. Yeah, there we go. And then we can get some music going. Let's try this. Ah, the new Nine Inch Nails album, which is a free download. I downloaded it today, so I highly recommend it if you like Nine Inch Nails, and it's a free album. There we go. See, it's not too loud. And this is the Lenovo Shuttle Center. It's not bad, it's decent enough. And as you can see, it works kind of like iTunes where things get out of your way. Let's, uh, I want to figure out how to get out of here though. There we go, I think. How do I do this? There we go. So let's get out of the shell center by turning off the off button for it. 
and there we are back here. Now another tech, cool technology that this thing has is something called Veriface Recognition where you log into your computer by uh, sitting down in front of it and it's the webcam scans your face and it's very fast and accurate and I, I'm not going to show you now because I have to be logging into the system and I don't I don't want to take the time to uh, to reload the system but I just wanted to give you a, a little glimpse of how it works here while we're running I'm gonna tell it to register but I'm not really gonna register I just want you to see it going uh oh I can't let you see my Windows password right okay see how it's flashing on my eyes it's actually scanning my face look at that it enrolled me successfully because the lighting in here is really good so you didn't get a good chance to see it but it does that something similar when you're logging in you when you power on your your idea pad it, when just before you get the login screen it pops up this 24s Jack Bauer looking scanner window with your face it, it's got these lines that come scan your face it's actually looking for your eyes and it's very accurate once you've enrolled it it will only let your face log into the computer and it actually logs attempts by other people to to sit down anybody who sits down and turns on your machine it and can't log in because it's not they're not you it actually logs it and snaps a picture of who it was which is pretty cool very very 24-esque like I said um, how fast just kind of give you a brief little look at how fast things happen tell you what let's fire up a Microsoft Word we all know how long that takes to, to load up look how long this takes boom a second this 1.6 gigahertz processor is much faster than my HP 2710p the Fujitsu P1620 and of course much faster than the uh, HP mini note which is a whole different type of device and I really don't I'm not going to compare the two other than I'm going to show you size because they're totally different devices this is a different class of device altogether it's beautifully proportioned everything it's a the fastest processor like I said I, I've seen on a sub notebook like this this device will run you about $1800 retail or manufacturer suggested retail price I believe so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you on the Lenovo IdeaPad U110 spin it around so you can just see how thin it is you get a good idea for how flush it still sits with that little extended battery hooked up you know which is not bad so what I'm going to do now is turn this around because I've had some requests already. Oh, one thing I should show you since I've unplugged it. And I always get asked this. People are always interested. Now, it's plugged in, so it's going to be kind of hard for me to show. There we go. This is the little AC adapter. I mean, look at that. It's fitting in my hand. See, it's, it's even got a blue LED because it's still, the capacitors are still charged. It's uh, nice and tiny. It's got the other half down here. I unplugged it. And like Lenovo always has you the nice Velcro secure straps. I love the way they do that. And so that's the AC adapter. This is my little tiny travel mouse. It's just barely bigger than the travel mouse. I mean, it's really cool. This device would be absolutely incredible to travel with I can I, I mean I can assure you of that so what I want to do I don't want to plug it in yet we got plenty of battery I want to show you let's shut it down let it let it uh, go into standby and I'm going to show you oh, it's just so sweet everything about this device is so sweet you just want to 
carry it around like this, you know? It's just awesome. I just can't overstate how easy this is to carry and work with. It's just far lighter, thinner than any of my tablets, which are typically the lightest things around. But what I want to show you is give you a little, now this has the, this is the HP Mini Note, because I want to show you, let me back up a little bit. I want to show you how they compare in size. This is about a pound heavier than this. It's a lot heavier, of course it's also nicely constructed with metal. And it's got this battery here, which I can't take off because it's in standby right now. But what I wanted to just kind of give you just a brief feel for was how they compare this way. As you can see, the U110 is not much bigger than this little 8.9 inch HP without the full keyboard that this one's got. And I'm going to show you this. I'll flip it upside down so the battery doesn't interfere because I want to show you the thickness. The U110 is much thinner than the Mini Note, even with their standard battery. So you kind of get a feel for that. I mean, there you just see how much thinner and lighter this is. A pound lighter and much thinner. So this is the Lenovo IdeaPad U110 Sub Notebook Computer. See, it does have a glossy screen, and I, and I hear from people all the time, some people are really bothered by that. I never have been, because when it's on and running, it doesn't bother me, and I'm not looking at the edges reflections anyway, but you see the reflectivity is gone. What you should also understand is this has got the widest viewing angle of any device I've used in a long time. See this? You probably can't tell. You're almost at do sideways from that and you can still see the screen. See the viewing angle of the screen? This screen is gorgeous. It's so bright and vivid. It really is. Oh yeah, one more last thing I'm going to show you because people always ask me is how does it play YouTube video? Well, it's got a 1.6 gigahertz processor. I hit this twice, sorry. Let me find a video. I know what we'll do. We'll go to YouTube. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll play a nice video down here. Let's see what we got. There we go. Hi, this is James Kendrick with jkonthenrun.com and tonight I'm coming at Zoom you right in. a quick look at Windows XP running on the HP Mini Note I'm not moving uh, well up here. Mini Notebook computer. I did a clean install of Windows XP last night and I have been working with the system since then to just get all my software like Microsoft Office Outlook. The reflections that you install. see here are actually so the I reflections from the HP Mini Note that's being recorded in that YouTube video. It's not from this thing. HP runs on the HP Mini Note. Now first of all, yes I know. Okay, that's good enough. That's, enough. that's enough. That's all we need for that. Okay. So this has been James Kendrick with GAKOnTheRun.com with a quick, well not quick, but a first look at the Lenovo IdeaPad U110 Sexy Notebook Computer. I love this thing. I can already tell you I love this thing. It's, it's awesome. It's great to work with. It's easy and great to carry around. And I could see traveling with this would be superb because that big screen resolution in such a small screen size, 11.1 inch, is very, very usable. Very nice. So, like I said, this has been James Cooper, JK on the Run. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back really, really soon. See ya.